Hi, this is Lindsay from Equip Me OT here today to talk about toilet seats. Um, so I wanted to do this video after working in a lot of clients' homes and finding that their toilet seats don't accommodate the aftermarket adaptive equipment supplies that we were recommending for their recoveries from surgery or from a trauma that was requiring them to have a raised toilet seat or a support rail around their toilet or even an aftermarket bidet system. All of those mount to the rear of the toilet requiring that the system that the toilet seat mounts through is, uh, is different than what you'll see on this toilet seat here. So I found that in my own home actually, all of the toilets we had had this style of toilet seat mount, which is a single uh, piece and not a removable bolt. This is also common, so this is a newer toilet, a newer Kohler toilet, but this is also common in really old toilets that have the um, wooden toilet seats. They have a much smaller bolt that drives through the back of the toilet. The good news is all toilets I've come, to, come across, once you remove the toilet seat, actually do have the proper sized hole in the back of the porcelain that will accommodate the bolts that come with the aftermarket supplies. So just to give you a, a, a little demonstration and hopefully the empowerment to be able to switch out your toilet seat so that it will accommodate any of those aftermarket adaptive equipment supplies, I'm making this video for you. So I just wanted to show what the type of equipment I'm talking about would be. So for example, this is an extremely popular undermount toilet seat riser with handrails um, and as you can see it mounts directly underneath a toilet seat. So I have a video on how to install one of these, links will be provided below and if you need to see that full thing I recommend watching that video. This video will just go over the actual replacement of the toilet seat. So let's get started. So basically once I realized my toilet seat had this type of back mount I went ahead um, and went to the store, I went to Lowe's and I found a very inexpensive, only $9 replacement seat. Looks like this. So this one's by Aquasource, and it is for a round toilet, which is what I have, also known as a standard. There are oblong toilet seats as well, so you need to know what type of toilet you're working with. And I have the supplies here that were needed for the installation. So we're gonna go ahead and remove this toilet seat from the toilet. It's really simple. Underneath both of these is a, is a bolt and then there's a, a, a nut. And these nuts are actually made of plastic and they're meant to be really quite easy to remove. I was able to hand loosen them. So let's go ahead and pop these off. They look like this. We're gonna hold on to them in case we want to reinstall this toilet seat at another time. and gently pull it out and you can see what I'm talking about. We've got two bolts that are actually all part of the back system. Unlike this replacement that I've purchased, you can see the toilet seat has a separate plastic piece with flip out. You're gonna open these up and you see the hole is there and these will accommodate the bolts that come along with your adaptive equipment. Uh, they come with their own bolts here, so we're just going to mount this to my toilet so that you can see how it goes, but if you were to use an adaptive piece of equipment, you'd be using the equipment that came along with it, the bolts and the nuts. Um, but we're gonna go ahead and install this bad boy and show just how easy it is. It comes with two rubber gaskets. Those are actually gonna go in first. Then, you're going to set your toilet seat in place right like that then you're gonna find your two bolts these ones have Phillips heads so I did grab a Phillips head screwdriver which is recommended for installation we're gonna drop those into the different the two holes and then similarly to my old toilet seat I've got two plastic nuts so we're gonna place those on kind of give them a twist start tightening them in place Very simple. You can use your screwdriver. A little more ergonomic to try and fasten them in place. Could be a little faster. It's more of a, you don't want to go too tight. You're dealing with porcelain, so it's hand tight only. But you want it to be tight enough that the toilet seat's not squirreling around on you when you sit down, so. This is just a basic plastic toilet seat, hence the low cost. Um, you can find them, like I said, I purchased this one at Lowe's. You can find them on Amazon, uh, really anywhere where the 
home improvement supplies would be located. So we're going to twist this guy on. Very simple. So we've got that hand tightened in place. We're going to close our clips. And we're going to test it nice and sturdy. There we go. So this toilet seat would now accommodate any of those aftermarket adaptive equipment products that we've discussed before so that you're all set for any recovery or to prevent falls or just to make your life a little easier when transferring on and off the toilet. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them below in the comment section and consider subscribing to Equip Me OT. Thank you.